Good morning. <clears throat> I'm Nick Valenti. I'm with Valenti Bradley Associates. And I'm here to, uh, we're the uh, independent auditors of the Southern Georgia Regional Commission. Uh, your, your management staff and, and my staff have been working hard to get uh, to, to perform the audit for the year ended uh, June 30th, uh, 2021. Uh, we appreciate uh, all the cooperation and uh, hard work of your staff and management and certainly my staff as well. <clears throat> We, uh, I, I made a uh, report to the executive committee as well this morning uh, in, in some detail, uh, greater detail. Uh, we, we were engaged, of course, uh, to uh, perform this audit for the year into June 30th, 2021 of the financial status. Now, ultimately, uh, our, our main charge is to, uh, the, to gather enough information uh, to support the expression of opinion on the financial statements as to whether they are reliable and that you can rely on them as an indication of the financial condition of the RC and the results of operations. And in doing that, we, uh, we follow our professional standards uh, promulgated by the American Institute of Certified Public Accountants. Uh, and we, uh, we also have to follow, in this case, uh, government auditing standards, which is also known as the uh, Yellow Book. And uh, the, the RC is uh, subject to the single audit act as well because of the amount of federal uh, expenditures and federal awards. Uh, but ultimately, our, uh, we, uh, the, uh, the, the staff here at the RC, uh, the county staff, the management uh, does a very good job of <coughs> keeping the books and uh, keeping a good set of records. And we, we find that very commendable. Nonetheless, we, uh, we can't assume that they're correct. We have to maintain all the activity uh, under our ethical standards. And, and so we've issued our uh, opinion on these financial statements, and uh, we do uh, issue sort of what's commonly called a plain opinion. And it is in, the, in that it says that these financial statements are a fair representation in all material respects of the financial condition and results of operations. Uh, of the uh, RC in conforming with uh, generally accepted accounting principles. So you do have a clean opinion this year on the financial statements. Uh, if, <clears throat> you know, the, uh, if if there if we become aware of any violations and we're, we test to see if there are any violations of laws, regulations, or grants, uh, if we become aware of any of those, we will report those in our audit reports, and uh, you'll be happy to know that there were no. Uh, we did not discover any violations of laws, regulations, or grants. Uh, neither did we become aware of any significant deficiencies in internal control. So, uh, a very good audit report uh, that I can give you today. As to uh, the financial results, um, you know, the RC uh, has a robust operation in that uh, it has. Uh, over 150 grants and projects. Uh, it has an uh, uh, IT fund and an RLF fund. Uh, it's it's uh, got revenue of uh, just under 15 million. Expenditures and federal awards come in because you have to count the volume loan fund, the loans that are outstanding, and the way you count those, there's $15 million in expenditures and federal awards. So, uh, there's a, uh, a, a robust uh, operation here, and from a and board standpoint as well. But, uh, for the year, uh, the district penal you know, report the uh, uh, on, on 15, nearly 15 million dollars revenue. <clears throat> uh, bottom line is the RC uh, had a slight uh, excess of revenues over expenditures, so their financial condition. At, at, uh, it's close to a break even. Uh, it was maintained during the year ended June 30th, 21. So very close to a break even. Uh, the general fund had a 6,000 plus uh, deficit. Uh, uh, so uh, the IT fund had a, had a loss, but the loss uh, was less. It's just going in the right direction. And the volume loan fund uh, turned. It was, it was in the black. 
So uh, RC maintained its uh, uh, strong uh, financial condition uh, position uh, at the at June 30th, 2021. Now the uh, reports uh, are available. The management has prepared, uh, it included the audit report and financial statements, management's discussion and analysis as well, which is something the uh, staff prepares. And, uh, which is kind of a plain language uh, description of some of the highlights, financial highlights for the RC for that period. <clears throat> so that uh, uh, that concludes my remarks about the uh, audit uh, for the year ending June 30th, 2021. Thank you very much, Mr. Lindsay. The uh, audit report was presented to the committee and the committee recommended uh, to the council. You've heard the report. Can I get a motion on the presentation of the audit committee? Motion, second, on the report. Second. Have a motion, have a second. Is there any discussion or any other concerns? If not, all in favor? Aye. Any opposes? Thank you. Just a quick comment on the audit report. Uh, there are a few uh, hard copies at the <coughs> back table. And if anyone would like an electronic copy sent to them, please let us know and we will get that to you. Next on the agenda is Tree 